a few minutes early today. If anybody is online with me at the moment, I would love to hear if I can test my audio with you. Um, let me just see if I can. Roberto is there. Fantastic. Thanks, Paula. Hi, Roberto from Ecuador. Wonderful. I'll just give a few minutes for people to come online with us. And if you would like to take some time to get comfortable in your seat. Oh, the volume seems low. Oh, I can actually change that. Just a moment. Oh, good. <clears throat> hmm. Maybe I should talk up. Um, how's that, Bree? Can you hear me? There's a little delay on um, messages to come through, so... I do have my microphone away a little bit today because... I have been guided to bring my bowls into this meditation. So I'm looking forward to playing some bowls um, with our beautiful divine meditation today. And I'm not sure how loud that's going to be at your end. So if you can just give me the heads up. Oh, that's great. Thanks, Bree. That's awesome. And welcome. Right. Okay. So if you just start getting comfortable. Go to the toilet if you need to go. We'll be sitting for about 45 minutes. And we have got a really beautiful meditation today. I've just been sitting in space. And yeah, it's going to be yeah really lovely. So the bowls are going to come in today as well. So I'm looking forward to that. So while I'll just wait for a few more minutes for people to come online, I'll let you know that I am Mish, Mish Morsky from Evolve as One. I am a member of the Dolphin Star Temple in Mount Chasta, California. And at the moment, all of the directors or all the board members will be uh, holding a weekly meditation. So this is so fantastic. Oh, Jose, so wonderful to see you. Big love. Long time no see. Um, I met Jose actually when I was with Amora in um, Uluru, doing a tour of um, Uluru and going to the sacred sites there, which was just incredible. Um, so, so wonderful, Jose, to see you. Thank you for joining us. Um, okay, beautiful. So, yes, I joined them. Hi, Nancy. The, oh, the audio is quiet for you too. I might just try and adjust my microphone. I have got it here. But if I bring it... Oh, I know why. <laughs> I haven't connected it. <laughs> Hang on, I'll just... Let me try this again. I'll just connect my audio. That would help a lot. <laughs> Excuse my shaky hands on my camera. Okay. say thank you for joining us you're in that's great how is the audio now is that better just let me know I've just changed my speaker so I'm hoping that brings a really nice clear voice in excellent so happy ready loud and clear beautiful Excellent. Hi, Paula. Wow. Fantastic. Thank you. That's great. I'm just learning my new technology with microphones. So that's awesome. Hi, Jamie. Welcome. Thanks, Bree. Good audio. Excellent. Thanks, Victoria. Hi, Barbara. The audio is good now. Excellent. Nancy, still a bit quiet. 
from Mexico City. Jose from Mexico City, welcome. Great, thanks Gary, welcome. Thanks Jamie from Chile and Victoria from Victoria in Melbourne. So I'm actually um, casting this live from Melbourne, Victoria this morning. It is 11 a.m. and or just past 11 a.m. Hi Gary from Western Australia or I think that's Western Australia. Um, and it is just a beautiful morning here. I came out this morning and the sun was shining. There were so many birds around. The air was really clean and crisp. I had frost on my grass. It was quite cold here last night. Um, so yeah, it's feeling crisp and lovely. Hi everyone from Portugal. Thanks, Michael, welcome. So great to have you on board. So wonderful to have so many people joining us today. Really excited. Okay, so if you get yourself um, comfortable in your chair. Oh, from the USA, Gary, thank you. Beautiful. And here I was thinking you were in Australia. <laughs> We're quite, quite a distance away. Beautiful. Thanks, Gary, for joining us. Yeah, so get comfortable in your chairs. Today I was guided, or just when I was tuning in this morning, um, I was guided to take you on a adventure into a forest. And, um, and there is some special things for us to experience um, there. And we will be taking a journey to raise the frequency of your vibrational energy through your body. So this is a very um, beautiful meditation, one that will raise the vibration in your body and cleanse and clear the things that you need to um, just release. Hmm. Okay, we might get started. Um, hmm. Okay, good. All right. Okay, I'm just going to tune in for a moment. So I'd like you all to just take a few long, slow, deep breaths. And as you're breathing in, just take some time to call all parts of you to this point right here, right now. So just saying in your mind to yourself or out loud, be here, all parts of me, right here, right now. Breathing in, exhaling, be here, all parts of me, right here, right now. This time is especially for you. This is your time to solely focus on yourself. For those of you who know how to adjust your aura and to use your grounding cords and to set up the Palladian setup, if there are Palladian light workers, you can go ahead now. And for those of you who are new here or just starting out on your journey, I would like you to just tune in to all the sounds around you. Just acknowledging each sound. And you will hear the birds occasionally here too. So just breathing in and coming now, bringing your awareness into your body and your breath. And 
and as you breathe in and you feel your chest rise, as you exhale, feel your shoulders drop. Just relaxing all parts of your body now. Time to let go and just rest. I'm going to call in the beautiful Dolphin Star Temple, Higher Council of the Light, to come forth and to set up a beautiful Dolphin Star Temple for each and every being who is with us in this meditation and for all of those who join us later. To anchor that beautiful space and holding this Dolphin Star Temple space with the highest divine truth and wisdom. Divine unconditional love and harmony. Divine balance and compassion. Divine mercy, divine radiance, divine beauty, divine joy, divine clarity and divine innocence. Where only those seeking these qualities may enter and anything other than that must leave now, so be it. And so it is. I call forth the Palladian Emissaries of Light, the Syrian Emissaries of Light and the Andronoman Emissaries of Light to put above each and every one of us and the healing space, the interdimensional cones of light, the evolutionary cones of light, and the intergalactic cones of light. And an earth cone below our healing space, our house and properties, and the surrounding areas, and also underneath our body and hologram grounding down into the center of the earth to the earth star crystal, the goddess Gaia energy, attaching there and holding that beautiful sacred geometry of Palladian light work that comes from the ancient mystery schools of Lemuria, Egypt. And I also ask now for a beautiful rainbow flame to go around the outside of each person's aura. So you can intend for this yourself if you are familiar with the rainbow flame. I'm just placing it around the outside of the aura to create a filtering system. And if you are familiar with doing your roses, replacing those and setting up new ones around your boundary. I welcome any divine ascended masters who would like to come in and if you have someone you would like to in or any divine ascended masters to bring forth you can call them in now I'm going to welcome Amora Kuan Yin and Kuan Yin the goddess of compassion There are many beings coming in today. We have an amphitheater of light beings joining us. I'll ask Archangel Michael and the Legions of Light to come forth and to seal this space with your sword of truth so we see through all illusion and only see truth. We're, call, we're calling in Mother Mary to bring in the sacred chalice and to pour sacred divine waters through this dolphin star temple for all of us today, making it a sacred space of higher learning and wisdom. So 
but just asking for your higher self to anchor into your body as much as possible at this time. And you can do that by just breathing in through your crown as if you were bringing your higher self into your body. Almost like a white mist if you haven't done this before. Just allowing it to come down and fill the whole space within your body. Using your breath and breathing deeply. And just asking or intending that your higher self embodies you as much as possible at this time and anchors here until you do this again. I'll just set up the 10 foot of ultraviolet light around this beautiful dolphin star temple space that we are all sitting in. And to hold this space until we do this again. Just coming back to your breath, taking in a little bit more air than the last breath and exhaling out that little bit more air. As you breathe in more air again, the oxygen goes into the blood cells and circulates through your body renewing its system. Allowing the shoulders to rise and fall with each breath. Moving into a state of relaxation now. Calmly and peacefully allowing the muscles to relax. I want to take you into the center of your heart. And as you're bringing your attention or your awareness into the center of your heart, you're going to be transported to a beach. And as you arrive at this beach, you can see that nobody else is there. It is like a cove. You are looking out at the ocean and you can see that all the way around to the left is the point. Beautiful white sand and all the way around to the right you can see the point. There is a warm breeze on your face. The sun is shining, you can feel it warming your body. The ocean is gentle lapping along the shore. You breathe in that beautiful air. It's peaceful here. You can feel and sense a pathway behind you going into the forest. You turn and you make your way towards the entry. 
as you start to move into the forest, you can feel the sand slowly turning to the floor of the forest damp. The smells of earth rising into your nose. The flowers that are there along the floor, the vines and the beautiful trees, the elders. You can feel the energy and the appreciation they have for you. They have been on the earth for a long time and their knowledge of earth. You can feel them welcoming you through the path as the dappled sun comes through warming you as you walk. Up ahead, you can see an opening in the distance. Soft under your feet to the leaves. And as you become closer to the opening, you can see some water and you hear the sounds of water falling. As you get closer and closer, you come to the opening that opens up where you can see a cliff face with a waterfall so beautiful and so gently cascading down into a beautiful swimming hole. You take a moment to look around and to see the animals and hear the birds. It is relaxing here. The water is so clear you can see to the bottom. It makes you feel like you want to dive in. It is shallow enough for you to stand in and the water comes up to the height of your waist. So you prepare and walk over to the edge of the water. Taking off your clothes until you feel comfortable. You feel the water with your toes and it is warm to your surprise, but yet refreshing as well. You move in closer and further into the water as the water starts to move up your legs. You may want to dive in through the water. It feels cleansing. Take a moment to just move into this beautiful, pristine water. The water feels like it is cleansing things out of your body. You notice a mist leaving your body. Like it is cleansing away all the things that you don't need. The emotions. Fears stresses that you've been holding on to. It is time to just let go of all of this for you. The water feels like it is crystalline water. And as you are swimming or wading in the water, whatever feels most comfortable for you, you notice that there are crystals coming out from behind the waterfall. You're intrigued by this. So you make your way over to where the water is cascading down. It looks so beautiful to stand underneath that waterfall with the crystals behind it glistening that you choose to go and hop underneath. The water is at the exact right pressure that you like. And as it comes down over your body, it's as if the water is coming into your crown chakra 
at the top of your head and it is moving down through your body, cleansing and clearing. You take long, deep breaths. Allowing for that beautiful water to cleanse through your system and to come out the bottom of your feet through your feet chakras. You open them up and it just cleanses straight out and purifies back into the water. As if everything is transmuted. Just take a moment in this waterfall cleansing and clearing. You take a long, deep breath in, feeling cleansed, allowing for that water to flow through you. And you sense some stairs behind you, through the waterfall on the other side. As you move through the water to the other side, there are some stairs coming out of the waterfall, behind the waterfall. They are dry, so they are sturdy. They feel rough under your feet, so you feel like you can grip well. As you come up the stairs, you feel the air is warm and is coming from this crystalline cave. As you start to look around, you see the crystal formations like a tunnel moving into a cave. You are curious about this cave. The crystals are sparkling and calling you forth. You start to make your way along the path that feels soft now under your feet. You notice that you are instantly dry. And you can feel the gentleness like glass under your feet that's soft and smooth. As you take each step moving further and further down into the crystal cave, it opens up to be this large cavern and you can see all sorts of crystals there, amethyst and rose quartz. There are crystals from all around the world in this cave. Ones that represent the earth. The crystals like they come alive when you start to walk in. They can feel your energy like a spark of light goes off in them as well. There's obsidian and tourmaline, citrine, 
There are many different crystals. All your favorite ones are in here too. You notice that there is a beautiful crystal rock in the middle. It has the perfect place to sit. You make your way over to this rock, this beautiful crystal rock. You sit down and you feel it with your hands. And as you take some long, deep breaths in, the crystals begin to harmonize. They are harmonizing with the frequency that you are emanating after being in the waterfall, the crystalline waters. You feel the vibration of the crystals starting to sing. The frequency of the crystals coming through the vibration of your body As you start to increase your vibration to harmonize with them. vibration to blend with your energy and increase that beautiful vibration in your body. As the crystal vibration moves 
with your vibration and increases and becomes one Mother Earth to start now to connect with you through the crystals, feeling a beautiful divine unconditional love coming from the soles of your feet. Rising up through your feet to your ankles and nurturing, loving, benevolent. beautiful feeling of unconditional love and gratitude for you. Coming up past your knees, through your thighs and into your hips, blending the energy with your energy, beautiful Mother Earth energy, moving up into your base chakra one at the very bottom of your body. Blending with your energies in there, divine unconditional love and gratitude. Breathing into that base chakra. welcoming Mother Earth energy, connecting with you. Bringing the energies up and filling through your hips and coming up to the sacral chakra Blending there in the sacral chakra, unconditional love from Mother Earth. Beautiful wisdom. Breathing deeply into the sacral chakra, allowing her to transmute any energies that are not of yours. Breathing deeply as she moves again with her energy coming up to the solar plexus, the chakra above the belly button. Beautiful divine Mother Earth energy, unconditional love. Breathing her in. Blending your energies and her energies together, welcoming her. As she moves up further through the torso, up into the heart. Breathing deeply into your heart, divine unconditional love and gratitude from Mother Earth. Nurturing. As 
as you breathe in, it surrounds the heart into the lungs and the ribs and the skin. Coming up towards your neck and into your throat chakra. Breathing deeply into the throat. Welcoming mother's, Mother Earth's wisdom. Blending there. Coming up into the face and through the head. Up towards the third eye, beautiful, unconditional love. Nurturing. Mother Earth energy supporting you. Great gratitude for you. Coming up into the third eye and filling that third eye with love. Bringing the wisdom of Mother Earth into your vision, your third eye. As she shares with you, just receive this beautiful gift. Moving up into the crown. Connecting with you and your crown. Bringing that divine connection in with all parts of you. You start to tune into the center of your heart where your light is. And the soul matrix just behind the heart. You see your spark of light start to grow. You feel the light of your true self become larger and larger starting to fill your whole entire body. 
as it fills all the way through your torso, through your head, arms and legs, down to your feet and hands. You send some of this beautiful loving energy down back through your feet into the earth, following down through the crystals as they take you all the way down and through your tube of light, sending beautiful loving energy back to earth, to mother earth. unconditional love she receives this beautiful energy and she starts to distribute the energy out through her earth's, her earth's core Moving out to the surface of the earth, to where all human beings are. The energy vibration comes up through the trees and the plants. The animals feel it and welcome the beautiful energy. You feel yourself sitting on the rock in the cave and you take a long deep breath you look around the cave thanking all the crystals for this beautiful journey they have taken you on Thanking Mother Earth for her gift to you and her thanking you for her gift as well. You stand and take a breath in. You can feel the difference in your body. You head out towards the waterfall as you dive into the water, through the waterfall, back into the beautiful swimming hole. And you swim to the side and come out instantly drying. You see the path from where you came into the forest. You start to walk along it, feeling the leaves on the floor and the roots. It is soft under your foot and you can smell the damp. You can see the flowers and the vines as you're walking along. And up ahead you can see the beach. And you notice under your feet that the sand starts to come in on the path and you can feel the different textures with your feet. You come out and into the open and the sun streams upon your face. You take a big breath in. <sighs> Exhaling walking out to the beach where you can feel the sand underneath your feet soft and warm. 
you take a moment to transport back to your inner heart into your body where you were sitting in your house in your apartment back into your heart chakra and feeling the energy vibrating in the heart chakra breathing long deep breaths to bring your consciousness into your body all the way in until you can feel movement in your hands and your fingers in your toes and wiggling your toes and just moving your body, allowing that beautiful energy to vibrate through you. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. Or you may feel that you want to switch off this video and continue to be in the space that you're in. was a beautiful journey with you. Thank you for coming with me to the Crystal Cave. It is an honour to be doing a meditation with you. And I thank you from my heart for your presence. Namaste. Ooh. Big stretches. Oh, some beautiful people who have come online while we were working. Got Julia Byrne from Sydney. Thanks, Julia. Much love and gratitude to you. Christopher, thank you. Hello. Jen and Diana. Amy, thank you. Dina, thank you so much. So beautiful to have you all here. I wanted to say that um, the Dolphin Star Temple is, you know, such a beautiful temple space to be in. I love it so much. It's my passion. Thank you, Jose. You're so welcome. Thank you, Anna. And thank you, Nancy. Beautiful. Thanks for joining us. And if you are unfamiliar with Palladian Lightwork, um, there is a fantastic oh, book. That is one of the great books. I've always got markers in this book. Thanks, Diana. This is a great book to start with if you're new to Palladian Lightwork. And you can, you can get this book on... Thanks, Victoria. You can get this book on our website at www.dolphinstartemple.org and that we also have some beautiful Nanibian crystals. If you're really connected with the crystals today, um, the Nanibian crystals that Cherie has just been getting in are phenomenal and they are just divine and she's so connected over there. If you um, write to her or tune in, she will tune in for you and with you to choose what you need if there's one that you can't actually find or that you know what you want. Um, so allow her to tune in and choose for you what is best for you um, if you can't choose that. But once again, thank you everyone. I hope you have a really beautiful day or evening depending on which country you're in. And I really look forward to seeing you in about four or five weeks again for another journey that we can take together. So big love. And thank you very much. Mwah.